Welcome to the second video. In this one, I'll be talking about list length. List length is also being used a lot to automate, automate, automate uh, some data output and input. And let's see what we can do with that. So in the previous one, as you remember, we did this and like, let's do our follow up exercise. And maybe let's group this guy, pull out a scribble and type, uh, I don't know, put it white, make this as list length, sorry, list item. And this guy in here. And the next one, maybe what we can do is we can create another rectangle. Let's copy this and paste. But let's say set one rectangle and let's put a rectangle here. And to understand the list length, what we need to do is, oh, maybe I can do this here so that easily track our grasshopper scripts and groups with the Rhino previews. So I go to sets and underneath sets, we will have this length. So let's imagine a scenario in which we'll be assigning different point sizes, uh, random point sizes for the points that we are seeing here. And what we want to have is we want to have the point sizes always going back to the length of this list. So if I connect this list length here now, what I'm seeing is it says 150 means we have 150 points, right? So this is sort of a, this is sort of what it basically does. But imagine you start with this and you are doing a lot of different manipulations or operations within these points. And then you want to go back and check these length of this list to use it to feed the different sizes and to go to, to proceed with that. You go to sequence and then grab a random. You see, random requires a range and number. So if I connect this number here, I will always have 150 values, which is connected to this one. So if you, if I always, like if I connect the panel here, what I'll be seeing as a length is, you see, whenever I put this, with information here, that information is feeding this guy. <coughs> Sorry, over here. So the range we can say, go to math, and then say five to 10, sorry, five to 20, and then we can round this information just to make sure things are a bit more clean. Nearest to here, group these guys in. By the way, if you press Control and G, things will be grouped, okay? And then what I can do is I can plot a swatch, color swatch. I can pull out a display to display my points, it's my dots, and then put this guy here. It's my color, make it translucent, and size is going to be my size. Since I have 60 points, I have 60 different sizes. And when I connect it over here, you see I have different sizes. I mean, if I increase this to 50, you see I have different sizes. And you know what would happen? If I change the seed, this will change. If I increase the number of the counts, it's going to change. If I decrease it, it's going to change. Because this component right here is basically taking the numbers how many items we have in that list and shove it as a length so that we can visualize these points with this type of randomness in a sense and i can put this over here. and one thing i mean if you don't want if you don't want to use this as a random one thing we can do is we can grab a series if we grab a series and then let's say if I want to have how many, you remember we have the count value here, we have length. So if I connect the length here, series will give me 60 different values, which will, which we already have 60 here. And you see, if I connect 
this is my size, you see, it's not going to work because we are going to see the zero as our starting point. So if my starting point is not zero, but let's say not one, but zero one, sorry, 0 0.1, you see, I started to see, obviously, they're still random, but we can also define the length or the number of elements in the series that we are going to create by using the list length. So step size is one now. So what we can do is we can say 0 0.5 and you see, and if we increase this, you see we are going to have huge, like this kind of a mess over here. But this is sort of a fun exercise to show you what you can do with uh, less length actually so in the next video I'll be talking about obviously I'll keep talking about the play I'll keep talking about the uh, lists and yeah let's see you in the next one